Okay, take a moment, pause the video, and try this problem on your own. Let's read this problem. It says, let f be a function such that f of x equals 2x minus 4, right? So f of x equals 2x minus 4. In function notation, x, you have to remember, is your input, right? This is the input x, and you can see the input being used here in this expression, and the output is f of x, right? That's what we're calling the output. It's the result when you plug in x into your expression here. So f of x is your output based on your input x. Um, and your input is another word for input. The inputs that we use is called the domain, right? So all the different inputs you use is the domain, excuse me, and all the outputs you have, that's called the range. So in this problem, they're saying f of x equals 2x minus 4 is defined on the domain here. And if we read this, it says x has got to be larger than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 6. So they want to know what the range of this function is um, if you're using this domain. And maybe the easiest way to deal with this is to make a table. So here, we make a little table. And I'm not going to use every x, right? In this range, there are infinite numbers in there. I'm going to use the two extremes. Two could be x, because x is greater than or equal to two. And six could be x, right? It goes all the way up to two and including six. If it didn't include six, I might try numbers like five and so forth to, to get a sense of how this thing behaves. Now, y, here the output, or f of x, always equals whatever x is times two and then minus four. So let's plug in two for x and see what happens. Two times two minus four. That's just 4 minus 4, or 0. So that means um, our range, when our, when our domain is from 2 through 6, the range goes from 0. It starts from 0 and goes up to what? We'll plug in 6 for x. 2 times 6 minus 4. That's 12 minus 4, or 8. So our range goes from 0 all the way up to 8. And you could write y for your range, or f of x. Either way is fine. These are used interchangeably y has to be larger than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 8, or f of x if they use that notation, right? It goes from 0 through 8, which is choice 1.